Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Saki here and I've been gone for like probably like two to three weeks and uh, it feels good to be back. And today we're doing a Monte tutorial because most of you have requested this again. And so on this tutorial, we're going to be collaborating with the homie Typhoon. And some of you might just be familiar with Typhoon as you've probably seen him in the Kenny Beats battle. And it just feels good to be doing a YouTube collaboration with another producer. And so this is what the homie Typhoon did on the beat. Alright, so once uh, Saki, uh, Saki like finished everything and like sent me the FLP, I just got to work. Um, so what I did basically uh, was kind of mix or uh, change the mix of the beat a little bit. I add some effects and a little like you know bells and whistles here and there because like the beat itself was already pretty much done when he sent it to me because I couldn't really add anything anything else without like you know making it sound all cluttery and shit. So the first thing I basically did was I changed the kick drum of the beat to something that was a little more smooth and I changed it to this uh, this kick drum all I did was I made it I, t I time stretched it a little bit uh, just to make it like a little deeper and a little longer so I would have a little more sub on the kick and that came out pretty nicely and then I realized that during this right here during this like this small section right here i felt like the beat was kind of empty so in order to like transition into like the next chord um i added this uh like little rising like triple oscillator synth that i just made really quick so that's the envelope and that's the thing it's really nothing uh, nothing too hard nothing too crazy i just eq'd out the lows and i made sure that it sat well in the mix so this is what that sounds like So that's what that sounds like and uh yeah uh then i changed the snare because i felt like the snare was pretty loud and um i just add, i wanted to add a little bit of more softness and a little bit more um of like variance to the actual snare drum itself i added one more clap that i made and i and then uh what's it so basically uh Oh yeah, and then um, and then after I did all that, uh, I decided to add a little bit of more percussion to the beat because I felt like the beat sounded a little empty. And um, if we're going for this like you know Monty Booker selection kind of feel, you definitely need to have a lot of texture in your beats. Uh, so what I did was I added all these. These are um, these are on me. I'm gonna just play it real quick. So as you can probably tell, I just added a lot more, a lot more texture to the beat in order to create that space that most people are familiar with. You really need to set in this like sort of like na natural ambience to the actual beat itself. So I added some, you know, jungle ambience. I added some foley loops. There's literally like a water, like this is just, that's just straight water, nothing too special. I added this like brush loop and stuff. Um, and because uh, because like all those things kind of fill up the space it allows the beat to like have more breathe or it, it gives the it makes the beat like almost breathe essentially after he had it those vocal chops all i did was i added this like little accent vocal chop on top of it i added that just to like you know give it some extra uh extra variance to the beat itself uh, just to like give it the give the beat a little more, bit little bit more of a variance because I didn't want that part just to keep playing over and over again, and obviously it would be different in the arrangement and whatnot. Um, we literally just started working together like maybe maybe 12 hours ago, pretty crazy. Shout out the bro. See you guys. And so that was the homie typhoon. And so now let me just show you my part and like everything that I did just to like start up the track. And so uh, it started off with these chords. Um, where are they? Yeah, it was these chords. And so let me get them in the pattern. Oh, actually, let me play them here. And so those are just like just basic jazzy chords. And so um, moving on, 
I have uh, this vocal chap and the thing is uh, with this vocal chapel like most of you have asked me like where I got it and uh, like to be honest uh, you can just go to my other video which is on the top of your screen right now you can just click that and uh, just check the description there and you'll get this it's just the free download and so uh, you can use that but uh, basically uh, you can uh, create a synth like this in uh, Omnisphere Granular the thing is I'd open Omnisphere right now but I can't because I'm currently screen recording and it's just way too heavy so I'll probably do a tutorial specifically for granular synthesis probably in like a few weeks and so um, moving on to the next part uh, the next part I think I think uh, this is a snare that I had uh, a snare that I had added here but uh, the homie Typhoon, uh, I think, I think he, I think he paired it up with this, uh, with this clap, and so this is how that sounds. And moving on, here it's just like some swung hats. Uh, these are like some really, just uh, basic like boom bap hats and. So uh, what's going on here? It's like if you look here, I didn't really, uh, I didn't uh, really use the swing the way I usually do it. Like I usually have my swing probably around here, but my swing here on this, on this track is just like totally at the end, and it just works perfectly for this track. But like uh, this is like quite relative to how your hat is. Uh, is uh, positioned here in the sampler because if you look at mine it's right at the back end so it just makes sense uh, let me just uh, play this with the with the metronome on the swing probably sounds a little a little shitty right now but trust me when it comes in with a kick it sounds like really really great and so uh the kick was done by Typhoon, y'all have already seen that. And this is an 808 that I've already designed. Uh, it's probably going to be out in my sample pack that I've been working on for the longest of times. And it's and so uh, it's uh, just this really cool ass 808. It's basically a sub, but the way that I, but the way that I shaped it here is just like this. And so uh, I just made the, this uh, the sub very plucky, and so it's just quite a basic uh, thing. And I'm not sure if I, oh yeah, uh, it's shifted a bit. Uh, it's ju it's uh, just so to give the kick uh, some pocket of space. And so moving on, here we have the open hats. It's just a basic open hat. Uh, you can get a hat like this probably in like addictive drums if you don't have like any sample pack or anything like that And here it's just uh, some of the foldy that uh That typhoon added and so uh, moving on Here it's also Here it's some percussions that I added And here it's just a fuller snare. This was done by Typhoon. And here is another 808. It's basically still the same 808, but it's like uh, different patterns. And this is like uh, the melodic part of the 808. Uh, the 808 is uh, just uh, on certain notes where uh, I feel I just felt where it'll just sound good melodically and it's still the same plucky as 808 and so let me play it And so uh, if you look at some notes here, I just delayed them a bit and it sounds good uh, for like the overall swing of the track 
and so uh let me get into the things like automations and stuff like that and oh yeah this is uh like another cool effect that you're gonna you're probably gonna hear in a lot of uh future beat uh, tracks and so uh, here i created a small room reverb and you can apply this actually on your master channel and like but then look at the way that i did it here and it's it actually won't ruin your mix in any way and so uh, what i did here i cut off the low end and i cut off some of the high end it's basically like a band pass and i added some uh magnetic noise here and so here it's just the space uh, knob and which this is just a, basically a reverb and what i did here i also did a band pass on the reverb the, the band pass was done here i put this probably at around 200 2200 kilohertz and same here i put this uh, probably at around 312 and what you want to do here is uh, your decay is probably going to be at around 50 i'm not sure uh, but uh, you want to have your decay pro all the way down and I put this probably at around like 90% and then here on the distortion uh, my reasoning behind the distortion is uh, just a bit of uh, saturation and it brings back uh, some of the loudness uh, because uh, this uh, space knob which is the reverb it actually takes the track uh, it actually pushes uh, the whole beat to the back of uh, the mix and so like uh, you probably want to have your mix a bit up front and so i just added some distortion here like just 30 percent and so uh this is this is not actually on the entire beat you don't you don't want to have this effect on your whole entire beat because it'll just sound awful uh you wanna you wanna use a track like you wanna use an effect like this probably on as a transition um so let me just open up the whole track actually like right now let me just play the whole track for you and then i'll i'll just explain everything as i go along like most of the track and so uh, basically here on this uh, foley loop uh, on this foley loop it was just me and i created this foley loop using my mouth and basically it was just me making uh, sounds like and what i did is uh, i like i just uh, eq'd the low end of uh, this sound out and then i used some delay to uh, just uh, give it like more swing and it just fills out the track even more and so um, we were talking about the reverb 
and the reverb from the retro color and so let me just like make an example how you'd use this reverb on on your master channel and so um like uh so the beat it drops here right and so uh let me let me switch on uh, the effect <laughs> And so uh, that is basically how you use this effect on your on your on your master on your master track. And so basically, um, you you want to use this effect as a, as a, just a, a transition in your beat. You can put it in some parts. Um, this works best probably on like a verse. And uh, so uh, like uh, I, we made this track with like a. Uh, a an artist in mind and so that's the reason why this track is not gonna have like many synths and stuff like that but that's just basically what we did on the entire track and uh, please uh like subscribe and if you're new to the channel hit the bell notification if you have never hit the bell notification before please do that and uh like we're open to actually like selling beats and stuff like that even collaborations and that the collaboration part is mainly just for people who are in fl studio uh like i'm pretty open to things like that and so uh the omnisphere tutorial i'm probably gonna do that next uh i'm not really sure it depends uh just uh what i have and so uh, another reason why i don't like just give out a lot of tutorials is because i don't want to just post tutorials for the sake of it i just want to make sure that i have some solid content that will help you guys a lot and so that is pretty much it for this tutorial today and i'll see you guys on the next tutorial so peace